Uh, hi everyone. Okay. <laughs> uh, my name is Qing Yue and uh, I will start my presentation today with a question but not challenging. Uh, so the question is, uh, do you remember the last time you see an ad for wildlife conservation uh, organizations on social media platforms? Uh, so when asked this question, most of people might have posters like this come to their mind, always have animals staring at the audience or a tiger want to hug. Uh, so this phenomenon is not specific to the ad, but being shared among all, all materials that be used to communicate wildlife protection. In documentaries, newspapers, and even research articles, animals remain in the spotlight. Uh, the stories of people are understated. So fortunately, more and more organizations have recognized this issue and they have started to emphasize the work of people, especially the work of indigenous peoples and local communities in their storytelling. So why IPLC, uh, the indigenous people and local communities, uh, not photographers or animal protection specialists? Uh, according to IPBS, the IPLC is defined as an ethnic group who are descended from or identified with the original inhabitants of a given region. They are vital to conservation because they share ancestral ties to the land where they live and animals there. Uh, they, they are the group who know and want to protect the animals most. So promoting IPLC storytelling, enabling organizations to better communicate the long-term relationship and the fruitful conservation work with these indigenous people. So, um, but the new challenges appear uh, because these organizations always have many regional programs around the world. WCS have worked in more than 60 countries, while WWF have worked in more than 100 countries. So, um, these this, this programs, uh, because of the time, the time zone, distance, or language barriers, staff from these uh, regional programs or headquarters can not communicate with each other. Uh, and this made regional programs tell IPLC stories in different ways. And for headquarters, it is also difficult to get and grasp IPLC stories from local programs. So in short, the challenge is the communication barriers between headquarters and regional programs hinders IPLC storytelling. So uh, to, solve this, to solve this problem, uh, the basic might be input understanding. Having communication specialists uh, from regional programs and headquarters better, get better acquainted with each other's work, the things they focus on, the challenges they face, uh, or maybe the communication norms they follow. So, but how to, uh, through input understanding, uh, the communication specialist from headquarters may be able to uh, better understand the indigenous people's work, also the, their fellows in local programs, their work uh, for communication, uh, so that they can better uh, develop a more feasible uh, general narrative for these regional, regional programs and the whole organizations to follow as a byproduct. Uh, the communication norms can also be explored while going through the IPLC stories and these norms can be used to improve the social media engagement with the IPLC stories. But how to uh, improve the understanding? Uh, I have some attempts during my internship this summer. This summer I worked for Wildlife Conservation Society, one of the leading wildlife conservation organizations, uh, and I worked as a communication intern. Uh, <coughs> my specific focus in this process is providing recommendations to better IPLC storytelling. My first step is developing a social media analysis. Um, this analysis, I compiled data on, uh, so on four leading conservation organizations, so, uh, social media stories, and uh, 231 so social media stories from 77 regional programs are analyzed. This analysis pinpoints the factors that lead to the greatest and least social media engagement, including the scene, the tone, uh, the, the import, uh, the visual or audio assets, um, the release date, or even the geographic so, geography scope. And this analysis, uh, and I found that the most engaging stories, uh, stories uh, are usually themed around similar topics, like the sustainable industry of the indigenous communities, and these stories are often in positive tone. Uh, this analysis this analysis also identified the same categories that regional programs always focus on when, de when developing uh, IPLC stories. 
And based on all these findings, the communication specialist might be able to develop a general narrative. So uh, to uh, generally speaking, this can inform both the uh, IPLC storytelling narrative and the communication norms used to develop or uh, improve the social media engagement. To gain the views from uh, NGO's stops about IPLC storytelling, I also interview five communication experts from these organizations. Uh, and they are both from uh, regional programs and headquarters. They provide their views about the communication norms they will choose, the most frequent things they will talk about while IPLC storytelling, uh, and, and also the challenges they face uh, may be specific to the regional programs or headquarters uh, of the organization they belong. Uh, and, in this, uh, and they would also prove the extent of the communication barriers between headquarters and the regional programs. So this analysis through supporting the social media analysis before uh, also help provide a general overview uh, of the IPLC storytelling landscape. So um, at the end, I combine, uh, I conclude recommendations from both the social media analysis and the interviews to provide some recommendations for uh, a communication specialist uh, and also um, um, sorry. Uh, and also, I developed a final report and shared them on a meeting with the communication specialist from these organizations. Um, it is so excited to see my reports translate to different languages to share uh, between uh, communication, as communication experts from different countries. And I do the same, do got many questions for some of my findings. Uh, maybe some of them just do surprise and interest them and also receive many positive, positive feedback after the meeting. So to, to, to conclude, it is essential to promoting uh, IPL storytelling by uh, having the communication specialist better understand what their colleagues are doing and maybe also what they are doing. Uh, and also because today my audience are most a students, so that's back to the problem I have mentioned before for the understate person, people's, people's stories. So maybe uh, as an audience for these stories, we should also pay more attention to the people behind these beautiful animals, behind these beautiful words. Thank you. Uh, are there any questions?